In today's Urbandum video, we are showcasing our exploration during the night of the last remains at one of the UK's huge power stations. Foley was an oil-fired generating station located in Hampshire that was decommissioned in 2013. Almost a decade later, the turbine hall and boiler house have been demolished, yet something very unique still resides on site, the original admin block and control room. Join us on our infiltration as we attempt to find the motherboard of the complex. Remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell to never miss a video. He's running to get us. But we thought it would be good to have like an inclusive behind the scenes of our whole trip. It's civil trespass. This is a criminal. This is a criminal offence. It was very late, deep into the night at 2am. On one side of us were the peaceful waters of Southampton's Bay, whilst on the other, razor wire fences and warning signs, towered over by a flashing chimney, the beacon we had followed to reach this point. However, the UFO-like admin block was what we had travelled many miles to see. Positioned a sky bridge's length from the turbine hall, it had boasted the plant's main control room since construction in the late 1960s. After discovering it was accessible, despite being guarded by a security team and many cameras, we were down south in a flash and finally were ready to explore its interior. Inside a very peculiar looking building that was formerly the control room um, and admin block for one of the UK's large power stations. Most of it has been demolished but this building still remains. As you can see, there's some construction work going on. But the architecture is very unique and something totally different to what we've seen. Here's a small model of the power station, completely intact. Stuff like this deserves to go into museums, but probably just be scrapped when this building's stripped out. Holy shit. This is like a gold mine. Looks like folders full of reports and board procedures. Yeah, just important files. This room was definitely locked. The amount of paperwork left behind was staggering. If we hadn't been a little pushed for time with the ever-threatening presence of security, we could have scanned through the folders for hours. Can't use my torch in here. Um, if there's no bits with the lights on, I can't turn them on either because the patrolling security would notice differences. Here's like an upstairs lobby. See a sign there that says conference room. Hopefully that's sealed off so I can turn the light on. As you can see, the architecture is very unique and different. It's not a massive building and it won't be a huge video. But still something unique that you don't see every day. We did manage to find the light switch for the conference room. All the furniture is set up just how it would have been all that time ago. I bet some pretty important meetings were held in here. It felt as if we were wandering back in time to the facility's occupation, with the untouched state of the offices and conference rooms, mixed with the functioning electricity, making the building seem hardly abandoned. Yeah, 
Here's another meeting space. This one's a lecture room as told by the label on the door. It's got this creepy flickering fire exit light. But the architecture is more of the same. It reminds me of a, um, a college we did in Wales last year. We actually lost the footage to it. It's like a brutalist architecture building. It looks very similar. Quite like the architecture though, it's quite unique. After taking in some of the better details in the lower floors, we decided to progress upwards in hopes of coming across the site's best feature remaining. I'm not sure who wrote this, but it seems like the last thing they planned was the meals for a day. Gradually getting up to the top, staircase is thinned. I expect we're going to see the control room soon. Yeah, this is, this is pretty telling. Oh, here we go. Wow, look at the plaques on the walls. Dating back to the 70s. This is one historic room. Oh my god. The floor's so reflective, but look at these panels. The ceiling, all of the curves. This is one beautiful control room. It's definitely up there with the ones we've seen. Welcome to Foley Power Station's incredible central control room. Dubbed the Flying Saucer, the circular space was astonishing to be within. Although missing some panels in its old age, the curved design, including panels and windows, means that operators would have panoramic views over the Southampton water. It was up there with the best we have had the pleasure of visiting. The futuristic interior was only topped by the working power and polished floor, making us feel as if we were featuring in an episode of Star Trek. Except for the replacement of the classic four computers, every inch of the control room was original and untainted since 1965. Vital for years onwards, the space had even been utilised after the generating station was decommissioned in 2013, for a further three years where it was used to control numerous other power stations around the country. But what happened to the property's other assets? The plant was built over a period of six years between 1965 and 71, beginning operation in the latter as a 2000 megawatt oil-fired power station. Its position had been chosen deliberately, adjacent to Foley Oil Refinery, whose heavy fuel oil would connect directly into the complex through a pipeline. As oil was more expensive than coal and natural gas, the station would never run consistently, but switched on in times of high demand. In September 2012, the owners announced that the structure would be shut down by the end of March 2013 due to economic restraints. After that, the turbine hall was stripped and demolished, with all that remains today being the admin block and chimney. This room is massive. I didn't even look to the left when we came in because all the panels seem to be on the right. But you've got this long one against the doorway wall. And as you can see here on the ground, there was definitely two more sets here that meet at the middle one, and then they would continue over there. So it sucks that these were removed. I believe they were removed a while ago, um, even 10, 20 years ago. But I'll still take what's left. Yet another map. This one a bit more different though. This shows what they're going to try and do with the place. I think they're making it into a water treatment centre. But these are the prospects that may have been completed by the time you've seen this video. Looks like they're going to be building a lot of houses, whether they're for workers or just purely residential, I'm not sure. But it'll be a nice location, it's right by the sea. In case you've been wondering, 
why we've been ignoring all these cameras you might have seen in the rest of the building besides the control room. Here's the reason. They all connect to here. I waited for a while, you might see some other explorers that I'm with walking around, but at this point everything looks empty. There's my security sweep done for the night. Looks like quite a modern switch room. Especially this bit. These ones with the glass signage. Looks a bit different and they're the same colour as the rest of the panels in the main room. You can hear a slight hum in here so I'm going to be careful not to touch anything. But yeah, these signs are so cool. Very dated. As well as old computer systems in the back rooms of the ancillary building, we would also discover countless blueprints and papers that deserve to be in a museum. It's awfully hard to film this because we're not allowed to use torches in here um, by a guide. So I'm just using my phone's flashlight for now. But these are all really old paperwork, and there is a ton of them. All confidential or just like blueprints off the power station. It's from 1962 right there. Crazy. That would be all we had time for on our last minute trek to the remnants of Forley power station. Realistically, we had travelled over 500 miles for one single room, but we think the history and importance of it makes the journey very worthwhile. After making sure we hadn't missed anything, we managed to exit the premises undetected. Unfortunately, the rare control room has been stripped of its panels now and is destined to be bulldozed. We couldn't believe the news, fairly confident that it would be protected for decades to come, perfectly intact and complete, and a tribute to the nationalised industry in the UK. Removing the entirety of the station is set to be finished at the end of 2022 in preparation for the land's conversion into a new community of 1,500 homes. Currently there is even less of Foley than there was a year ago when we recorded this film. We hope you found our documentation interesting for what it was and crucial to preserving the iconic building when others had failed it. Here are some of our photographs captured at the abandoned power station. If you like the look of them, check out our Instagram page where we share images of our explores months before they are seen on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We listened to the great feedback on our last video and decided to showcase another UK power station this time. Be sure to join us in the live stream tomorrow to discuss this location. See you next time.